Yeah, and so this is where building science and common sense kind of start butting heads, right? You've everybody heard that old adage, a home needs to breathe. Well, in reality, the occupants of the home need to breathe. The home could care less. But where I what I do agree with is the wall assembly needs to be able to release moisture in both directions. And so when we talk about breathability from that standpoint, we're talking about moisture release. We're not talking about air. So I love the concept of using this whatever liquid applied membrane to keep water from coming in, to try to seal up all the little holes that air could come in because if air can come in, so can moisture and mold and insects and so forth. But then what happens is during construction, when the windows haven't been installed yet and the home really isn't dried in completely, you're getting all this moisture that's getting into that cavity wall. First nice day they have, they button it up, they start doing insulation and drywall, and then you have moisture in that cavity wall that needs to come out. Common thinking amongst the industry is once you have your HVAC on, it's going to start to dry out on its own. For But how long does that take? And will it take... Six months, six years, never. And then this is when you have mold starting to develop in walls. And this is why the estimate is around 50% of all homes in our in, in this country have mold and or moisture issues. Mm-hmm. That's a very conservative estimate. There are now research going into the whole mold mitigation issue showing that it's more along the lines of 70 to 80% of homes. Wow. That's huge. 